Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again on a little three streak and this time we're going to go as Boom, I think, is who we're going to go as here. Where's Boom? There's Boom. I enjoy Boom quite a lot. He's an interesting character. Overall, a definitely easier one of the roster, but a fun one. Basically, this guy is just all about the bombs. I'll go to his page and read out some description about him. So, Boom is a pretty interesting one. Immune to explosions, as you'd expect. Explodes when he touches an enemy with a two second cooldown. He has the ability to defuse troll bombs, which is quite nice as well. Starts with Nancy bombs and the mash stick. When an enemy dies, that has a 10% chance to spawn one of the following bombs. Uh, a normal bomb, um, a brimstone bomb, or a giga bomb. Very low chance for the giga bomb and brimstone bombs though. The chance of enemy spawning a bomb scales with our luck and we have a slight decrease to our damage. But yeah, this is it's pretty interesting. Um, Spawn bombs onto enemies are using his protection. Basically, this guy's just kind of crazy. Go for luck where we can and blow things up with the bombs that we get from killing enemies slash other things. Right, I think we can just like bring all of these guys around here. And can I sneak through here? Yes, I can. Good, good. Don't need to worry about anything there because I can just sneak on through. Uh, Leo is interesting. It's not exactly the best thing for us right now, but... It's helpful, I guess. Leo does make us pretty, pretty mahoosive. Oh my god, we got the quarter as well. I wasn't expecting that, bad boy. Lovely, lovely. I'll crack that open. Oh my lord, it's money galore, people. It's money galore. I'll crack that open as well. Oh, this is a very good start, baby. This is a very good start. We like that. There's an extra bomb for us there. And on the shop, unfortunately, an item that isn't really that valuable to us. We'll at least grab an additional bomb here for two cent. Um, or what basically adds up to two cent. And yeah, money-wise, we're uh, we're in a pretty good spot, I'd say. Pretty good spot. As for the question of the day today, um, what did you have for lunch? And was it good? What did you have for lunch? Ooh, there you go. There's our luck going up. We like to see it. We like to see it. There's some more HP for us. I've not seen any enemies uh, turn into bombs yet. Let me just go back and check the description and figure out if I'm reading that right. Um, when an enemy dies, that's a 10% chance to spawn a bomb. Okay. It's, it's, it's a pretty low chance for enemies to spawn bombs. We're not going to get it all the time, obviously. We're not going to get it all the time. Might as well destroy these where I can. Lovely. Oh, there's our first bomb. There's our first bomb. You've got to remember that we're immune. It changes how you play if you don't think you're immune, so I've got to... Got to keep that in the front of our mind. Oh, that was the interesting looking bomb there. I don't know what that was. Um, and we'll go and quickly do some min-maxing for secret room as well, because I feel like we could get some good stuff here. This could be secret room. It most certainly is. Oh, beautiful stuff. We'll uh, grab all of these. Oh, we got the crawl space as well from this. Back in and out. Good old bag of bones. Ooh, spawns four purgatory ghosts. I'll take it. Empress, and then we've also got enemies in the room will endlessly respawn until you take damage. Spawn rewards based on the total number of enemies. That's kind of interesting. I don't know what enemies it'll spawn or what, like if it depends on the room type. Ooh. Very nice item here from the Gorgon. We like that. I'm going to just use it in this, uh, this room up here and see if it does anything. I'm not sure if it will. It didn't do anything in this room because apparently it can't. Probably a bad room to do it in overall, to be honest. I do not like the way things look in here. I do not like the way things look. Gorgon's doing some good stuff, but yeah, it's slightly confusing. Okay, we've got to watch out for these ghosties as well, apparently. Watch out for the ghosties too. Ah, bugger. Okay, not much rewards out of that, to be honest. Not exactly what we're hoping for, but meh. Whatever. Right. Regular secret room is almost definitely um, here. I would assume. There you go. Not bad stuff. Ooh, we have a, a bomb beggar. Um, apparently we can defuse bombs here, so we might as well do this and it'll uh, it'll defuse a good few, right? Yeah, baby. Apparently we can only defuse a maximum of 10 per floor so that it doesn't get a bit too crazy, but we can at least get our 10 here. There you go, baby. Easy. Um, then I guess at this point we'll feed you some bombs and try and get a bomb item. I'm only going to go down to like five. 
Unfortunately, this guy, pretty reluctant to pay out. Pretty reluctant to pay out. I'll, I'll give him one more. Two more. Ah, you bugger. I was hoping he'd pay out there, but sadly not. But not not bad overall. Not bad overall. Let's go back and get our, uh, our little gemstone that we've got going on here. So far, very, 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 very good first floor ride, sir. Oh god, it literally just spawns them and instantly has them uh, attack it. That's it's pretty good for us. But yeah, I was hoping I could get some sort of bomb synergy going. I imagine getting Dr. Fetus from that guy as this character. That would be pretty wild. I like it. We can also run into enemies on our own to do explosions, but obviously that's quite a little bit less safe. Still haven't figured out the uh, the whole deal with the curses, by the way, how to turn them off. There is console commands to be able to enable and disable them, but they don't seem to work for me, so... Ones like this, Curse of Pride, has an increased chance for enemies to be champions, but we already have another curse that already does that, so this is one of the ones I'd like to disable, but I don't know how. It tells me how, but the way that it suggests doesn't seem to work. So if anyone can go into the mod, or have played this mod before and figure that out for me, I would be indebted unto you. It would be very, very useful. So yeah, there's plenty of curses in this mod that I don't want to deal with, I'll be honest. Oh, there's a brimstone bomb. There's a good old brimstone bomb. Not the typical look that you'd expect for a brimstone bomb, but there you go. Right. Just decided this would be easier. Just to get rid of all the poops. A golden penny. Hey ho, that's pretty lovely. Oop, a bomb. We have an insane amount of money. Just an insane amount of money. Right, take these guys out. Careful. Careful, careful for the spiders. I don't exactly need all this extra money, but it's like, why not destroy the pots with Leo when you have Leo? It seems pointless not to. Right, room clear. Unfortunately, not a great item here at all. We'll take it. Soul Heart Lock. Good, good, okay. I'm really hoping the shop is going to be selling us some goods here, but I'm not entirely sure. Come on, spawn some bombs, please. There's a bomb. That's a dice bomb. It rerolled the enemy. Good old dice bomb. Right, and in here, I mean, <laughs> don't mind if I do with burger bombs. Honestly, the boomerang, it's not very good, but I'll take it for now. Jack of spades is spicy keys. Eh, I'll, I'll, I'll do a spicy key. I'm also going to go back and grab a matchstick now that we have burger bombs. Even more bombs being dropped sounds good. And I took uh, I took the boomerang as a way to grab stuff, but also it's extra abilities to petrify enemies, which is kind of nice. Good, good. Ah! Was not expecting that. <laughs> was not prepared. Back up to 50 cent already. I mean... This is, this is the money run, apparently. Yeah, I've got that card that we could have just walked over and got, but there you go. Not much going on in there. Come on, boss time. Let's give it a go. It's not the boss yet. Did, is, was the boomerang always piercing? I didn't think it was always piercing, but that's, that's, that's an addition that I can, uh, that I can respect. There's a brimstone bomb coming in. Not going to do much to him, but we could try and push the bombs around to do more damage with them when plausible. I don't know what this... Oh, it's magic fingers. Magic fingers? I mean, with the amount of money we've got right now, magic fingers is pretty amazing. Um... <sighs> I'm kind of more on, on track with the boomerang right now, though. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I've got this stun, this whole stun vibe going on. I think it could be good for us. I wonder how much chain reactions you can get going with, like, bomb into bomb into bomb sort of thing. Kill an enemy that drops a bomb. That one dropped a gigabomb. That's a that's a rarity for us, but uh, it, it can happen. It's, it's a little difficult when it does. What does this do? Basement key. 
Um, while held, every golden chest has a 25% chance to be an old chest. Eh. Yeah, there you go. We can keep bosses stunned for even longer. Not always going to stun them, though, because it's bosses. They have that protection. Overall, it's pretty good, though. When they're stunned, actually, I could try and bomb them. Obviously, this was not a good example of that. That was an insane bomb, though, there. If you want to step into that fire, I know that you're uh, fiery yourself, but you could always use a bit more fire. Right, first, I will check out the devil deal here. Uh, yeah, I'll take Pinhead. Oh, wow. Wasn't expecting to get all this. Yeah, I'll pop that once. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm glad I went to that devil deal there. Pinhead, great item. Extra piercing shots is rather lovely. Look at all the stuns. Oh, I got hit by that uh, thingy shot there. Champion shot. Not good. Not good. I'm not going to spend every floor trying to get the crawl space, by the way. I realise I could with uh, with Leo. It's just a boring way to play, even if it is min-maxi. I don't want to always go for that. I love the fact that insta kills all of those. Nice to see that even the small enemies can drop bombs as well. Weird that sometimes it's a bomb that's affected by our, like, Nancy bomb. Sometimes it isn't. Don't really know what the difference is. Sharp plug. This game's been mighty annoying right now. We have got to the point now where we have a lot of, uh, a lot more bombs so we can kind of use them for combat. A little more readily with Nancy bombs. That's going to be quite fun. Oh my god, it's annoying. Slightly annoying. Yeah, I guess they well now like with Nancy bombs we can use our bombs like that to do some damage. Not always gonna be awesome. Like you're not always gonna get a really good sort of synergy of bombs coming together, but sometimes you do. Sometimes that's beautiful. And there's the stunning helping out an absolute ton as well. Hoping we can keep this streak alive for a little while here. I know that we're playing with like more difficult characters. And some people did comment in the last video about Elijah maybe being one that we shouldn't include, because he is uh he's definitely a bit broken. Is Elijah, and not in a good way. There's definitely a lot of things about him that don't work as they should. And that kind of leads me to go down a path of maybe saying he's not the best character for the streak because he's not fully finished, really. Let's go straight in for the boss. Again, here we can uh, take out the minions first. But we can use bombs on this guy. Hope they're interesting Nancy bombs, like that. That's the sort of interesting Nancy bomb we're looking for. I think we've got one or two red hearts. I can't remember. Okay, it doesn't matter anyways. Glitter bomb. Oh. Head of Krampus. I think Head of Krampus is probably better at this point. I don't take Head of Krampus very often, but I think being able to... Once every three rooms, being able to clear rooms a bit easier is nice. Kind of weird that Leo can still walk over those, you know? Secret room. I'm thinking maybe here. We've got plenty of bombs to try it out with, so let's give it a go. Indeed was. Unfortunately, not the best of secret rooms. I do love it when it's a brimstone bomb. Ooh, and a tinted rock here as well. That's a lot of bombs. Dude, we've 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 set ourselves up for a very, very good uh, amount of bomb usage as a character w that lends itself to bomb usage pretty heavily. It's quite nice. Wasn't super intentional, but it just kind of came out like that, and I like it. Right. Yeah, being able to do that is is pretty nice. Just insta kill. Remember when this thing was like a four room charge and didn't do anywhere near as much damage as well? It was it, it was it was ass for a while. It was really good. And they nerfed it to be really bad, and now it's just it's it's good. I wouldn't say it's bad. I wouldn't say it's overpowered. I wouldn't say it's... Yeah, it's just good now. Ooh, my reflection doubled. Hell yes. Quite a big, beefy damage up there, so I like that. Quite a big, beefy damage up. I, do, I just like my reflection in general. I think it's a really good item that gets super heavily overlooked. Especially now it comes with a damage up. It didn't used to, I don't think. Right. We are done with this floor. This is definitely going to be one of the characters that we always have a reasonably easy time with. Although I do believe he has a modded, uh, uh, not modded, sorry, a tainted counterpart that is a lot more difficult, so... 
We'll see how that ends up going if we end up playing the tainted version at some point. Because, yeah, I remember the tainted version being a bit, um, a bit more difficult. Like, something to do with, like, a timer. You've got to, like, go fast, I think. Like, we've got... I don't know what this curse is here. We've got some sort of card curse. Oh, there isn't a curse. Okay. That just lied to me. Big chest. We'll come back when we've got more keys for that bad boy. We don't need it quite yet. Aha, you're all frozen, boys. Oh, come on. This room's ridiculous. You're going to give me all those enemies and then you're going to give me crabs? I don't like anyone that gives me crabs. Someone giving you crabs is a definite diss, I would say. Oh, yeah. So look at all the pinhead shots. We got the lard. Uh, um, yeah, I'll take it. The speed down isn't that massive, and the help up is pretty good for us right now. Especially if we get more devil deals on the uh, on the roll. I think at that point it's going to be pretty useful. Okay, we, get, we literally just have to wait for these guys to strike us. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh shit, the bomb. See, uh, the bombs can't hurt me. But the bomb's blowing up mushrooms next to me, now that can hurt me. Also, we've got plenty of keys now. Let's go and open the big boy chest. I think it's a minimum of seven keys for these bad boys. Or maximum, sorry. It could be lower than seven. We got ourselves the pepper, and we got ourselves the frail fly. Not great. The, the pepper is pretty decent, but I'd probably say that Krampus' head is a good bit better than it, uh, for the most part. And we do have a tainted treasure room, but I'm not sure what we have that could be tainted. Maybe Leah? Yeah, Leah. Ah, uh, we... No. We we had this before, and it absolutely ruined... I'm pretty sure on my 34 streak, my original streak that I did, the reason I died was to that item. It looping you through walls is, is not... It's not as useful as you might think. It's It, it just... It makes you have to play differently to avoid not accidentally walking through the walls. And that frustrated me to no end. I could not remember that I had the item. I simply couldn't do it. And I kept just walking through the walls by accident. Not ideal at all. Yeah, don't... Don't frog me, please. Don't frog me. Yeah, most rooms were clearing out very quickly now. See, now this is a room where Krampus's head feels appropriate. <laughs> that was extremely satisfying. Although, I have just realized I've made some major mistakes here. I've spent a ridiculous amount of keys on this floor now that I don't have anything for my shop um, or my item room, which I really could do with going to birth. I mean, there's one key at least. Let's try and get the second one before we head back. Ooh, there's a crawl space. Getting a lot of those at the moment. I mean, we've got a lot of range, but I'll take another range up. Why not? Uh, what does that do again? I don't remember. Uh, is, is this the one that allows us to... Um, yeah, do you know what? I will take that. It's it's probably not as good as Krampus's head for instantly clearing a room. But I think just the ability of... Uh, what, what am I doing here? I see, I see. Just the ability to activate Ipecaca whenever we want, considering we have explosion immunity. It's going to be pretty goddamn good. Although, I don't know, do we have bomb explosion immunity or explosion immunity? Because they are two different things. Let's check. Immune to explosions, it says. So we should be fine to utilize this item to the fullest effect, which is really nice. Good old activated charcoal. It'd be quite nice to have in boss rooms and stuff. No extra key, unfortunately, so item room it is. I mean, we could go to the shop in the hopes that we get a key from the shop. I don't know which one's better. I I'm going to go for the shop, considering we've got so much money. I'm hoping that we get a key. Yeah, there you go. And we get blank card, which... I, I don't dislike blank card at all. I could go for it, but I just... Activated charcoal seems like the better option for this character right now. I'm hoping we're going to speed up from the boss as well. Get, like, wooden spoon or something. Tammy's head... That's annoying, because um, a lot of active items to be getting game. Not a not a big fan of all the active items. Tammy's head could be interesting if we could use it with activated charcoal, but as it stands, we can only have one of those at a time, and I don't think that um, Tammy's head is going to do much for us if we don't have activated charcoal. Yeah. 
Considering we've got my reflection on this as well. Ooh, exactly what we need is more range. Those away, please. Oh, doesn't matter. What the hell's this? Every eight um, room clears, one passive item is removed from your inventory, um, and you gain damage for each item that's removed this way. Nah, it's just not it's not good, is it? Um, I think we take Camion Conception and Empty Vessel. It's an interesting item. I think on certain runs it could be fun, or as, as certain characters that already have like a built-in gimmick. But on a lot of characters, I can't imagine that being that ideal. I guess if you're on a really bad run, it could help fix your run, but having your items get removed is, is an interesting thing, really. Right. Yeah, I don't know when I'm going to like best use activated charcoal, to be honest. I think anytime it's a big room, or obviously the boss. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> One second. Sorry, I just briefly died there. Oh, God. Hopefully I'm better. I just kind of started choking. No idea why. Get boomed. Chat shit, get boomed. Well, that was a nice and easy room to walk into there. They just killed himself instantly. Do they normally do that? Gusty blood. Pretty decent. We like it. Anything that's going to gain us extra stats, I'm in, I'm in love with pretty much. And also, we get speed out of this too in, in rooms, which is kind of nice. Oh, you survived. Another big boy chest. Wow, okay. I mean, hopefully we can get the keys to open that as well. We got the bombs, just not the keys. The bombs are uh, sitting pretty right now. God damn, 21 bombs. Ooh, yet another really good item, but just so many actives, game. So many actives. I need stuff that aren't actives, please. Probably not going to end up getting the keys to get in there, are we? Wish I hadn't opened up the uh, Tainted Treasure Room, to be honest. It was pretty worthless if I'd have remembered what Leo did. Couldn't remember off the top of my head. I had to see it. Could potentially get black hearts out of these if I break them. Ooh, a soiled heart. We don't mind that. Secret room. Eh, seems kind of likely. Yeah, second secret room there. Unfortunately, not what we're really looking for. Is this boss floor? No, it's not. God damn, we're kind of slow on this room. Holy shit. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but he died instantly. He died doing what he loved. Dying. Easy. Mum's repository should be pretty good. Pretty decent damage boost there. And then in here... <clears throat> um... I think I'm just going to take Slick Spade here to get Empty Vessel activated. As much as I want the, uh, the, the, the ring thing, I think this is better off for us. Right, um, I think we're just going to go on this floor actually. I don't think there's much reason to step around and wait. Okay, let's keep it going and keep bombing things. I'd like that item that allows us to throw the bombs over our head, that'd be useful. Let's, let's wait on the big room until we have charcoal already. Tonight as well. My girlfriend, say girlfriend, fiance, it's going to take me a while. Fiance uh, just got back from a few days uh, sleeping away at work, and we are going to binge a lot of the Fallout series tonight. We're on episode, I think, five already, so we've got like five left. We're probably going to finish them tonight. I'm quite excited because uh, I'm really enjoying it thus far. I think it's very, very good. I'm quite excited to give it more of a watch. Come on, guys. Don't be don't be like this. Could have just pressed the button there, but I couldn't really get in. I'm liking this bleeding heart thing we got going on. Right, in here. Vanilla wafer, not super useful right now, but overall pretty decent. 
And we've got this bad boy. Where's all my keys here? Squeezy, though, is very nice. The fire rate alone is really good. Okay. I was going to go back to that big room, but we're heading down this path now, so why not? Ah, oh, keys again, though. I mean, I did waste one in that last room pretty badly. Gosh darn, game. Gosh darn. Why are you going to be like this to me? All right, one second. All right, let's keep this. Keep this a moving. Keep this a going. Oh god, damn. Ah. How'd you end up hitting me there? Hit this thing. Hit the block. Don't waste my time. And again. Bloody idiot. I do not like that guy. Not a hit I should have taken at all. Really? You're all gonna be hearsts? Fuck you. Yes. Beautiful gate to the boss trap room for free here. Ain't nothing better than that. Eh, all pretty meh. All pretty meh. Ooh, we got like a void bomb there. Interesting. Yeah, I guess it's HP. Oh my god, look at the little head bouncing around. Fuck me. A oh, dude. The bleeding heart heads, like when we get some of charmed. It fires off a ton of Ipecac shots. Yeah, it's firing off Ipecac shots like crazy. That's kind of funny. Because <laughs> it's constantly charmed. It's constantly firing off our shots, so when we activate activated charcoal, it goes wild. Oh, can we not with you? Holy shit. Eclipse is causing errors now. Got a lot of pennies out of that uh, enemy there. I think that was from my golden heart, maybe, though. I don't know. Yeah, I think it was. That was just my golden heart doing weird things. Right. Pin shots make quick work of rooms like that. We're still holding on to this occult card. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use that yet. I can use it to reroll devil deals. Forget a devil deal, it isn't very good. Dude, these void bomb things that are sucking things up are great. They're kind of scary, but they're, they're very good. Bugger off you. Okay. It's boss time. We are ready. Good old 61 damage. Now we need Pyra. Give us Pyra and then we'll be complete. Oh, come on now. Okay. Down we go. Not great health coming out of this, to be honest. I'm having a harder time with this guy than I thought I would. I thought this would be smooth sailing, easy breezy, but it's not been so smooth or easy breezy. What's this little seal here? Orbits around Isaac can protect him from incoming projectiles. Bonds a random heart every floor. Um, dies after taking too much damage and awaits for Isaac's touch. It sounds pretty cute. Sounds pretty cute, so I'll keep it. Oh, really? Got hit there as well. Oh, that that enemy wasn't mine. It was just a charmed actual enemy. My bad. Okay, so we're probably dead here. This has been uh, it's been fun, but I uh, I kind of bit whiffed it here. I kind of whiffed it heavily. I lost an insane, insane amount of uh, HP in that room there. I lost three or four hearts. I think I lost. The charmed enemy thing confused me. Copper bombs. The world is pretty nice here. I'll definitely take that. Thank God as well, because I would have gone the wrong way here. Right, back we go. What's, what's with all the herming shots? Oh, I fucking cursed the magician on. I. Yeah. I. I need to find out how to turn these curses off properly, otherwise, I'm taking this mod off, I think. Curse of the magician is, is not it. Yeah, I think, I think we're probably dead here. I will try my best, but. 
I wouldn't like to say that this is going to go super well. Yeah, there you go, unfortunate. There goes our streak, but it was to Curse the Magician. It was also to my fucking stupidity, but I think Curse the Magician really topped it off there. I need to find a way to disable those curses, otherwise I'm just going to disable all of them. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.